we're going to go into a, a lunge, forward lunge. Again, it's important form here. We don't want to hurt our knees or hurt our, yeah, we'll go ahead and go okay. sideways. That'd be good. Uh, when you lunge forward, make sure that your knee stays behind your toe. You want to sink more down than forward. Like so? Mm-hmm. So we're going to go ahead and lunge out, and then you're going to lunge back. Yep. Good. And be careful with that knee. Make sure when you get out here to a good base, we go down. It's down. Like so? Good. That's perfect. And if you're a little more advanced, the farther out you can extend, the more muscles are going to fire. So ideally, if you can take a lunge all the way out to here and maintain form, go ahead and do that because you're going to work your butt that much more. Good. About two more. Good. Let's go with the other leg. And always start out slow and you can pick up the pace a little bit as the video goes on. But make sure you start out slow to get your form right. Good. That was forward, right? Right, right, good. As long as you're getting it, then you can do these types of things at home. You just really want to concentrate on it for the first couple times so that you're always doing it right. Good. Now let's go ahead and go over the chair. So we're going to rock our hips out and rock our hip back. Most important part of this is letting the knee do the work. Now, let me explain. When you lift, you want to let your knee guide you. So we almost want to lift the leg all the way over the chair and then lift all the way over the chair. We don't want to turn it like this and start running your legs like this. It's all in your knee. You want to get height for your hip flexor up and down. Okay. Did I get it? Yep. Good. And switch. <laughs> Think about that. <laughs> and again, these bands are great for hip strength and hip stability, and this is one of the best exercises for that. We're going to have her unclip here in a minute, and we'll just kind of get a reaction for you to basically show you how well they'd work on your hips. How about three more? Good. Why don't you go ahead and unclip. Give me about five reps on each side and tell me how you feel. Five on um, doing what I just did? Yep. Exact same exercise. Probably heavy. <laughs> feel a little lighter? Feel a little looser? It feels a lot light. Yeah. What these bands can do for you basically is when you do exercises, whether you're warming up or doing a cardio workout, it pretty much makes your feel, legs feel like they're feathers. Now I know that's it kind does. of weird to think, but you know I have a big baseball background and weighted balls was a big thing that we always did when we trained. So when you throw a weighted ball and you put a baseball in your hand, the ball feels light. Same concept here, you add resistance yeah. to your legs, you take the bands off, your legs feel like feathers. Uh, let's see where your heart rate at. Where, where your heart a lot easier yeah. to move. 146. 146, good. And you see with the bands, we're kind of easily maintaining that heart rate where a good cardio fat burn spot would be. And about 148 <clears throat> to 155 is good for 